browser. To navigate to the browser, click Go to the Browser. Here it will load a page where you can select the species and reference assembly of interest. To navigate to a specific species, type in that species into the reference bar, and you can see the different assemblies here. For this tutorial, we'll be using HD38. You can see the species and the reference assembly in the top left corner. Beside that is a way to navigate using a gene, a SNP, or a region. The tracks button allows you to load your own data or load publicly available data. Apps contains specific features such as screenshot. Settings has a few features such as using the genome-wide navigator seen here to jump around to different regions of the genome. You can also have the current view refresh after you refresh the page. You can change the current track legend width using this option where you can adjust the legend name to have a longer name or a shorter name. The share option allows you to email, use an embedded link, or a QR code to either share your session with collaborators or to have on a poster. The help button contains options for documentations, code on GitHub, or a YouTube channel, among other things. You can also use the day or night version of the browser. So there are a few tools that we'll go over briefly, but that we'll discuss further in another video. So these tools allow you to navigate quickly through the browser or undo or redo a particular option that you have selected. Again, we'll go over this further in another video. Looking at the browser, we have the ruler first, which shows you the chromosome position and then different positions on that chromosome. Then we have gene annotations from RefGene, GenCode, and the main selection, which is an NCBI and Ensemble uh, collaboration. Below that is the repeat masker, which is a uh, catalog of repeat elements in the genome. You can change genomes by selecting the genome that you have chosen and then navigate to a different one. So let's say we want to look at mouse. So we click the genome and the reference of interest, and then now we're looking at the mouse genome. We can see that in the top left corner.